expected to prove very attractive targets either, since there is no crew for the Nazi bombers to murder. In the Antarctic, Admiral Byrd's third South Polar expedition reaches the Bay of Wales, and the whales give them a cheerful welcome. Landing all the gear from the steamer North Star at Little America, the base of operations, is a difficult job. Accidents are bound to have, like this, a tractor falling into a hidden crevasse. Admiral Byrd himself is there, walking under the plane, and he sees more minor mishaps to the husky dogs. There's also sport in the Antarctic. Put your money on the seal, he'll get away. Other local inhabitants look upon the whole expedition as a rather unnecessary adventure. It intrudes upon their private life. They don't know, of course, that Admiral Byrd has brought with him this giant snow cruiser, and that with it, after the ticklish business of landing it, he proposes to go motoring all round about the South Pole. An RAF squadron in France received a telegram of congratulations from the